There's one more thing right now that you need to know about strings in C, and that is that when you create a string, it always uses one more byte of memory than the number of characters that you put in the string. And that's because C adds one character called the null terminator to the end of every string so that C and you, the programmer, can know that the string is finished when you get to the end of the string, or the last character. Uh, the null terminator is usually not valid anywhere else in the string, so if you ever see it in a string, you know you've reached the end. So really, if you want to store a date, which takes four characters, you would create it as such. Character date, and you would think to put four, and you would think you would do something such as 1994. But this will not work, and that is because you've told the array to allocate four, enough memory for four characters, when in reality, it's going to put a null terminator character at the end of the string, so it really needs five characters. So you would have to allocate it out like this. That way, when you are printing out the characters in the string with printf, it will see that null terminator character and it will know to stop reading bytes out of memory. If you don't put that null terminator, or if you don't allocate enough space here with the 5 for that null terminator, serious problems will happen in your program. And in just one second, I'll show you uh, what will happen if you do not include enough space for the null terminator. First, let's compile and run this code. It prints out 1994 as we would have expected it to. But if we change this to 4, which is what you probably would have thought to do if I hadn't have created this tutorial, uh, it's going to probably print out something different. It printed out 1994 with a parenthesis, it looks like a space, and another parenthesis. And the reason that it did that is because it did not see the null terminator. So when the C was printing out the characters in the array, it kept on reading one character, it printed it out, and kept reading the next character, and it kept on doing that even after it got to the end of the first four characters because it didn't see that null terminator. And the only way it knows to stop printing out characters is when it sees the null terminator. So in this tutorial, you learned that really strings have one more character than you thought they did, the null terminator character, so that you, when you're programming, and C, know when the string ends. Uh, and you'll actually use this null terminator in programming to determine things such as the length of a string. All right, I hope you've learned something useful in this tutorial, and I will see you again next time.